Actually, I'm going to turn right here. <laughs> Look at that, there's no one. It's so good. It is so good. I'm actually hoping that it's going to be the same on the Arc de Triomphe. Oh, and uh, by the way, guys, um, I've received quite a, f yeah, quite a lot of uh, emails lately about uh, people wanting to visit Paris and and asking me what to do there. I'll gladly help. You know, uh, I'm not going to tell you to just look in a look in a in a travel guide, although you could do that. But um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm, if 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 that's uh, something you'd like to ask me, I'll just ask you to tell me what you like to do. Because Paris being a very big city, there, there's tons of stuff to do. You can go out at night and get drunk. Uh, you can visit loads and loads of museums. That's a nice car there. Fuck you know, that's a really nice car. Um, you c yeah, loads of museums to to see. There's sightseeing too. You can w you can look at all the big monuments. Um, you can go to uh, entertainment parks. I guess that's how you call them. Or well, maybe not actually. Um, but uh, yeah, like Disneyland stuff or. Um, or, uh, you know, uh, there's there's a park that's called the Asterix Park. I don't even know if you know what Asterix is, but, yeah, anyway. Oh, right, the term is amusement parks. There, there's amusement parks. And uh, there, there's a, a very good museum that I recomm <clears throat> recommend to any vlogger out there because I know you like technology and science and physics and... Um, a anything that has an engine like I do and if you're going in Paris if you're going to Paris in June don't forget that there's the Le Bourget air show which is a very 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 big air show very impressive airplanes all the time and um, so so yeah that's something I'd recommend um, So that's and yeah, right in front of us, actually, you can see the Arc de Triomphe. Um, and yeah, I don't have anything to say about the Arc de Triomphe, but you, you can see it. So, but yeah, you know, Paris is a wonderful city. Um, if you can handle the French, which if you can say bonjour, you definitely will. Um, but there's no problem. There, there's loads of people. There, there, you know, yeah, there's loads of tourists and uh, loads of traffic at times. So you've got to be pretty patient. But I guess it's the same with any uh, major city, any major capital is like that. So this is the Arc de Triomphe. And interestingly, um, my name is... Actually, there are no cops here today. I could just stop the bike and show you. Couldn't I? Mm. Now, this is extremely, extremely prohibited. If I did that, they just probably... Oh, uh, yeah, the cops are there, look. But anyway, that's a very, very beautiful thing. And yeah... Little, little anecdote uh, sorry guys little anecdote my family name is actually under there um, because a long long time ago we suspect that my great 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 grandfather fought with the Napoleon n n n n troops, and uh, those are the Champs Elysees people. Yeah, and so 
Uh, the names of, of the generals and, and all that are under the Arc de Triomphe. So we think, well, my family thinks anyway, that the name could have uh, something to do with our ancestors. But we're not quite right. We're not quite sure about it. And so this is the Champs Elysees. This is like the main artery of, of tourism in Paris. Because at one end you, ha you have La Concorde, which is where they killed um, King Louis the Sixteenth uh, during the Revolution. They, you know, uh, beheaded the guy, which, well, is kind of, um, how do you call it? Yeah, gory. And on the other side there's the Arc de Triomphe. And, and on this avenue you'll find lots of shops and and lots of stuff to do lots of restaurants but the the, the thing the, the thing is though about this avenue is that it's very expensive so like if you want to eat really good french food like bistro food uh, which is the equivalent to the uh, english pub food but we we would have instead of having pubs we would have stuff um, things called uh, bistro and I, I'm sorry guys don't get me wrong I really love English pop food I'd do anything for a burger and a pint at any time of the day but I'll just say this and I know you're you're conscious of it so I, I know I'm preaching to the choir but uh, the French bistro food is a lot more refined than uh, English pop food I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's better but I'm saying it's uh, it's refined. It's uh, it's prepared with I think uh, more expertise, probably. Look at this fucking guy doing 90 kilometers an hour on the. Oh shit, cops, cops, cops. 